Hi everyone, welcome to PT Plus Online Lessons. The main topic for this lesson is write essay. In particular, we're going to be focusing on scoring criteria breakdown. We're going to be looking at content and form marks. So in terms of content, you can see here that there are a total of three marks allocated towards content. You get the full three marks if you adequately deal with the prompt. But if you deal with the prompt, but you do not deal with one minor aspect, that means you get two. If you deal with a prompt but you omit a major aspect or more than one minor aspect, then you get one. And if you don't deal with a prompt at all, then you get zero. Remember, if you get zero here, there'll be no further scoring for anything else. So it's important that we get at least one or more for content. Let's have a look at a question, a prompt. Do you like ice cream and why? Yes, I like ice cream. It is very delicious. So I eat ice cream every day. So I gained a lot of weight these days because I ate too much. I decided to go on a diet. I would go to the gym from now on. Okay, so have a look through these. Which one would you pick and which ones would you pick to answer the question? Yep, it's these two. Yes, I like ice cream. It is very delicious. Here, I'm able to answer the first part of the question. Do you like ice cream? So here's the major aspect. And why would be a minor aspect. It is very delicious. And then further on from delicious, we can then go into more details, like there are many different flavors, such as strawberry, it's creamy, it's smooth, it's sweet. It goes well with everything, and such as cookies. So you can see here, we follow the sort of structure of topic, main idea, and it's just supportive evidence. So let's have a look at the official PT academic tips. The first tip that they've provided us with talks about the content. The content of your answer is very important. If you do not write about the topic in the prompt, you will receive no points at all for that item type. So it's very important here that we have the prompt and we include and we write about the topic. Because if we don't do that, then we get zero marks. So before you start writing, note keywords in the prompt, find out the topic, what key points you should focus on to answer the question, and any points of view to present and discuss. The second official academic tip is... Analyze the essay prompt so you know how to answer it. Essay prompts can be written in, in a number of ways. For example, you may need to discuss whether you agree or disagree with the statement. Here we've got a pretty typical uh, question. Education is a critical element of, pros of the prosperity of any nation. The more educated the people are in a country, the more successful the nation becomes. Discuss the extent to which you agree or disagree with this statement. Support your point of view with the reason or example from your own experience or observations. So here you can see the extent to which you agree or disagree. That is one of the main points that we need to focus on. We also need to sort of think about how different uh, groups of people might feel about a particular reason or situation, noting here that in the second prompt, it's asking us for the wider community, uh, to governments, or up to the individual. So you may need to argue for and against, or discuss the advantages or disadvantages of a situation. If there is a statement followed by the question, read the question very carefully and note the keywords. Make sure you know exactly what to do when it comes to answering it. So the second requirement looks at form. You can see here that two marks are allocated for form. Um, you get two if the length is between 200 and 300 words, and you get one if the length is between 120 and 199 words, or between 301 and 380 words. If the length is less than 120 or more than 380 words, essay is written in capital letters or contains no punctuation or consists of bullet points or very short sentences, then you get a zero. It's important here to note that if you get zero for form, then there's no further scoring beyond that. So what we're aiming for is always for our length to be between 200 to 300 words. That's easily achievable, especially because it counts the words for you and it's got a word count at the bottom. So it's pretty much always achievable to um, attain that. So remember, we have to get content and form scores. If we get zero for content, then we get no form or anything else. If we get zero for form, that means we get our content score, and we get zero for form, that means we get nothing. None of the other enabling scores like vocabulary, spelling, grammar, written discourse. So content comes first, and after content comes form. Because if we get nothing for content, if we get nothing for form, that means everything else is taken away. So remember, know it and check it. 
Also, don't be too creative with the content because the machine's marking it. If you're thinking of uh, ways of sort of uh, going round about the question or ways that are too strange or abstract, the machine's not going to give us the score because it doesn't have that in its list of answers. So just think about the basic arguments. Any arguments that a normal person would think of, go with those and you'll be right. It's not a test of creativity. It's a test of your English. So remember that. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time on PT Plus and we'll be talking about the other requirements in the next video.